Hey everybody, welcome to SeniorGolfSource.com. My name is Brett and today I'm going to share with you how your positioning and setup can affect your ability to rotate. So this one simple technique will help you make more rotation in your backswing. So let's look at things from two different angles. We'll look at it from a face on perspective and we'll look at it from a down the line perspective. There are essentially three different types of stances. You have what would be deemed as closed, open, and neutral. Let's cover what those are and what they look like before we understand what they do. So, the neutral stance would be my toe and my body line is running parallel to the golf club to target line. So, setting up, I feel like the line of my feet matches the line of my hips, which matches the line of my shoulders, and it's all running parallel from, from golf ball to target. That would be the ideal thing. Unfortunately, not everybody's built that way. Some people have impediments that stop them from making good rotation. So this is specifically for the players that maybe have bad hips, uh, bad knees, or ankles. So that neutral stance, looking from a, a stand-on point here where we're face-to-face, -face, I don't have any problems getting to the top. But also, I don't have any issues with my knees, back, or hips. So if we look at things here, what would impede me? What would stop me from making a full backswing? Well, if I go to what would be deemed as an open stance, so that means I'm taking my left foot, pulling it back away from the target, meanwhile keeping my club face square to my target, that is going to limit my ability to access rotation in my hips in the backswing. So let's look at it from face one. With that open stance, I'm only able to get to here, which for you, for some of you, that might be, you know, you would pay a, a great sum of money to get to here. But if I go back to that neutral stance, look at how much further I got back with that neutral stance. So as I start to open the stance more, I limit my ability to make good rotation, specifically in that trail hip. So let's just do the polar opposite. Let's go to a closed stance, pulling that trail foot back, and look at how free and open that turn in my backswing becomes. And that will help you um, shallow things out a little bit more. So if we look at it, my backswing definitely becomes more shallow. And I need to just make sure that if my sequence is good and I'm swinging on the same path as my feet, I shouldn't have any issues with ball striking qualities. But now let's look at that from a face on standpoint where I pull my trail foot back and I make that rotation. Look how full that turn was. My back is almost completely facing my target line. I've got the club back here in a position that personally I feel is too far. But for some of you, this is what we do need. You, you might be here at the top of your backswing and wondering what's going on. Pull that trail foot back to access more rotation and get yourself in a better position at the top of your swing. And that's what's going to help you access more rotation, which is at the end give you more power. If you're swinging on that same path, I'm just going to share one little tip here before I go. If we go to that close stance, guys and gals, it's really important that that trail elbow stays connected to your trail side. So I don't want you to take it back nice and flat only to disconnect that elbow away and swing overtly steep. Let's look at it from face on. Stays nice and snug. That elbow's here. It's, it's tight to my body. And as I come down, it's still tight to my body. Where people go wrong is they'll take this flat back swing and then they'll disconnect that trail arm and get themselves in a world of trouble. So I hope you find this helpful and please like and subscribe for more.